The praise with the spirit of excellence. Come on, somebody. Confess the word with the spirit of excellence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because sometimes, amen, amen, when we pray, confess the word of God, amen. You talk, amen, we forget to go back and tell him thank you, amen. Hallelujah. You got to tell him thank you, amen. Tell him thank you for doing it, amen. Tell him thank you for carrying me. Thank you for building what God has started, amen. Thank you for healing me. You already started the healing process. You already started it, my brother and my sister. Thank you for bringing it to full manifestation. Lord, I thank you right now. Lord, I thank you for your word coming forth. Lord, I thank you for victory in the body of Christ. Lord, I thank you for prosperity in the body of Christ. Lord, I thank you for healing and breakthrough in the body of Christ. Lord, I thank you right now for shaking in a foul ground in the body of Christ. Because upon this rock, God, you already built it. And God, you will protect it in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, somebody said it, thank you. Somebody said it, thank you. So when you begin to pray and confess the word of God, you begin to tell God instantly, Lord, I thank you for doing it. Lord, I thank you for hearing it. Lord, I thank you. Because so many people in the body of Christ will pray and don't believe or don't know that God done heard you the first time. But I want you to tell that devil, I'm going to tell him thank you. I'm going to say, Lord, I thank you for doing it. I know you heard me when I prayed the first time. Lord, I called on faith, be not though it work. I don't care how I feel. I don't care what it looks like. I will speak no baby, not knowing it were in the name of Jesus. Because if you build it, you're going to protect it. If you found it, you're going to deliver it. If you kept it, you're going to make it home. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Look at somebody and say, what going to prevail against you? If you righteous. Hallelujah. What's going to prevail against GBFM? Hallelujah. What's going to prevail against every church in the body of Christ? That's preaching Christ in holiness. Amen. That believe in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. The Bible says they don't believe in the Holy Spirit. They already the blaspheme. Amen. They none of his. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. Lord, you said according to Isaiah 54, 17. You can take this one here, right? That no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Lord, I thank you, God. It may form. It may not feel good. It may not look good. But you say, you say, I didn't say you say. I'm saying what you say. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Shall not prosper against my family. Shall not prosper against my brother and sister. Shall not prosper against my ministry. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for doing it, God. Thank you for your divine covering. Thank you for your divine shout to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Master. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Lord, you said, Matthew 18 and 20, Whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever he shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. So what you what God is saying, I can't loose it until you loose it. Amen, somebody. So when you lose prayer, come on, heaven opened up, amen. And the angel hopping on to the voice of the word, amen. Somebody. Is that if two of you shall agree. Uh-huh. Y'all see that? Y'all see why the devil don't want prayer to be birthed in ministries? 
That's why ministry can't stand. That's why so much hell in ministry because there's no prayer. Amen. Push it back. Amen. Somebody. It's so much idleness. Amen. Somebody. Prayer is very part. Prayer is very part. Amen. Jesus carried the word, but he had to pray. Say two or three. Amen. Two of you on earth. Churching in the green. Now it's a two of you. But then he said, I'm in the mix in another scripture. If it's two or three touching in the green. Amen. If we touch it in the green, the devil don't want y'all listen. The devil don't want nothing to be burned. The devil won't church folk to come sick, get a word, and never see the manifestation. But the devil is alive. Because when your brother and sister got just a little strength, God looking for somebody who will make up their heads. I'm, I'm strict enough. I'm well enough. We gonna come together. We gonna wear that devil down. Come on, somebody. We going in the atmosphere today. We going in, we going in the spirit today. Amen. Oh my side. Oh come my side. And if that if two of you shall agree. On earth, touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. Come on, somebody. What does it say? If two of you shall what agree on earth, touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. Woo. Touch it. Not physically touch it. But touch it in the spirit. My spirit bear witness with your spirit. See, the problem is folks have wondering spirits. Ain't prayed all week, so when God trying to burst something in the atmosphere, you it's dry bones. Come on, somebody. But I come to wake up prayer. I come to wake up every dry bone. Come on, somebody. I'm going to test and see what short she is. Come on. Hallelujah. Good God of mine. God, hey, pray, amen, a whole two hours a day. Hallelujah. Good God of mine. God. For where two or three are gathered in my name, that Jesus' name, there I am in the mix of them. Now you see, he said, if, if the two or three gathered together. Oh, I wish some more was here, but I'm going to stay right here. I'm going to teach it. I'm going to be a prayer because God said, I want the power to fall ready in prayer. I want folks to get delivered in prayer. Hallelujah. You don't want it through the word. I'm going to send it through prayer. And if prayer don't get it done, you on your way to hell. I feel the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Shabbat shalom. Two or three. Two or three. Together. In the spirit. He's in the midst. Anything dead, when God come in the midst, you ought to be resurrected. Your spirit ought to, when prayer going, your spirit ought to start getting revived. It doesn't matter what you're going through before you got here. But when the right prayer, I feel the Holy Ghost. When the right prayer hit the heaven, you ought to, somebody ought to be getting strength. Hallelujah. Somebody's eyes ought to be getting dried up. Somebody ought to be getting a little more stronger. Somebody, I feel the Holy Ghost. It doesn't matter what the struggle is. The anointing come to destroy the yoke. Your bondage. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, we gonna get there. Because some of you don't backslid from prayer. On oh, one accord. One accord. One accord. It's not the will of God for prayer to be gone. 
in the talking. Other stuff. Traffic jam. Somebody come and need, uh, need God. To try to circulate that atmosphere. Hallelujah. Together. The enemy can't win. The devil can't have victory over your house when you connect it together. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm teaching prayer. We got to go into another realm. Everybody can pray individual, but but the body got to come together and receive prayer and pray together. That's where the Holy Ghost at today. That's where the Holy Ghost at today. Together. That never let us eat together, ride together, stay together, but won't pray together. That is not the will of God when we got so many enemies, so many principalities trying to kill, steal, and destroy in the church's sleep. Because you don't feel like praying or you ain't prayed and you came and tap in. You ain't tapped in because you ain't seeking him right. Something else got your mind, but I'm going to get that mind right. Come on, somebody. I'm going to get that mind right. It's going to it gonna take prayer to make it this day. Hallelujah. You don't need no microwave prayer. When hell hit your house, when hell hit your body, now you want to pray. Everybody else to pray. You want all. You want to find the Holy Ghost, but you need to find the Holy Ghost when the devil show up. When that booger man stop at your door, you got to be already ready. It's a relationship with Christ. Hallelujah. You ain't come for no religious status. You come with a relationship. Life of prayer. Cause your relationship with God to get strengthened. And what God got us talking on, amen, through our chief apostle alone, amen, psychological warfare. And you got folks ready in churches, ready in home, about to lose their mind. Demonic forces acting up. Hey man, having tension tangent. Don't know what's going on. Hallelujah. That's that spirit on Ram Ray man on a rampage. And folks sit up and hear the word and can you identify the spirit? Your spirit sleep. I feel like preaching already. You got to understand. We don't have what we gonna say. We gonna have what we gonna say. And I choose to have what God said. I hear, man, I'm not walking in the spirit of fear. Fear introduces itself to everybody. But you don't have to embrace fear when you got faith, when you anchor with the word of God. Amen. You anchor with the word of God and you tell God, I I'm going to follow you. I, I you, I, can't, I can't lead you and that's the problem. Folks want to lead God instead of God leading them. Come on somebody. That's why the prayer life cannot come on one accord. That's why when folks come in the house of God, their minds on everything else. Hallelujah. I feel the Holy Ghost. Your spirit somewhere else. Amen. It ain't been, it ain't been tapped into the Holy Ghost. It's been diluted into it. God vets my spirit. And I told Pastor, I'm setting the foundation. It's not the ones that pray up here. Pray well, pray with the power. But the Lord said there's no two or three, there's no five. It ought to be everybody that's been in this ministry long enough. You should be more grown enough to be able to tap in and don't worry about what's in the pocketbook, what you're going to eat at the church, what's going on in this and that. Who's going to show up? The devil is a lie. Look as God show up. Because if the power of God show up, whoever don't show up, 
Sit the proud fool. Sit the proud. Sit your word. Amen. Send your word. Send your word. That's what we need to send the word through proud. Amen. Oh, yeah, yeah. Y'all gonna think I lost my mind. I did in the Holy Ghost. The blind can't lead the blind. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You, 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 be, you better trade, trade that, that kill spirit in and get a forward spirit because we, we finna push some stuff out the way. Come on, somebody. We got to carry some things. Amen, somebody. We got to carry the assignment. Hallelujah. We're going to pray. I feel the Holy Ghost. Now, at the funeral in the, the man of God Baptist we were talking on something he said man of God he said apostle bring your tent and put it right here on this property and we gonna support it y'all ain't saying that we gonna support it hallelujah he reverenced the anointing that was on my life I ain't got a microphone yet he ain't heard me saying that he ain't just see me do nothing but just when the anointing opened up Y'all ain't saying that. I feel the Holy Ghost. And I need my father, y'all, to be on the front line. Ain't worried about who behind you. Ain't got to worry about who you mad with. Your spirit, right? Deal with the Holy Ghost. Y'all ain't saying that. It's a holy out there. Yeah. 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 Y'all ain't saying that. And he told me, he said, I, I'm trying to get them to understand. Amen. This is not about religion. Come on, somebody. It's about a relationship with Christ. Uh, and he said, bring it right here. Other words, I know you walk in the power of the stuff. He said, that's what I need. I know what God was saying. That's what I need. To put up the religion, man. And call these things. Somebody shout that coming through prayer. You can burn some stuff through prayer. Your victory come out of prayer. So now, what you say? The Lord just say, He said, I want you to run on and teach this here. So y'all, 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 y'all be here at 11 o'clock because I'm going to teach prayer. And we're going to go in the prayer. Hallelujah. Because God wants the whole body. Hallelujah. Like I would let God just show me. He said, he say, you got power for prayer. Amen. Going forward. He said, but, but, but the whole body ain't gravitating to the prayer. So when God put men and ones of God to go into prayer, the worst thing believers could do, amen, is to interrupt prayer. Praying out of their spirit. But the scripture says that two or three It be more than two or three coming in when prayer is being preached. Oh God, the heavens ought to be shifted when they praying out of their better. When they praying, come on somebody, I ain't put nobody up here just learn how to pray. They got a black for prayer. You can feel it when you when they open up their mouth. You can feel the atmosphere, but when it's not coming upon the green. So then I have to come and push us over the and God say prayer for push us over. You can get your breakthrough in prayer. Y'all ain't saying that you can't pick and choose who go on this microphone and pop the word of God and pop in prayer. Come on, somebody. We go, I, I feel the Holy Ghost. We're gonna get out of this. Yeah. Say love. He said, tell glory Bible. It's not no. Come on, 
He didn't have to say that, but what was in the belief? Come on. The belief doesn't matter who got this microphone playing. If you got a life of prayer, shut on the leap in you. If you die on you and go to heaven, this way we go. I want to come out the office. I want to see. I want to see Paul. I want to see it cloudy. Come on, somebody. Every, everybody in here. Amen. Y'all feel the Holy Ghost. Y'all ain't saying that. He came out my side. Y'all, I want to see somebody have a testimony. I can't look at it. But I'm not before prayer. But I went after prayer. But I got the victory. And the word took me over. Come on. The word ought to be an overflow. The word ought to be an overflow. Proud to take that. Amen. I want everybody to confess we coming in the prayer of agreement. No more isolation. I just read and we just confessed the scripture upon this rock. God will build something and the gates of hell should not prevail against it. So if you say saved and you come in and you saying anything else inside of praying, what what do we God got all with you? He got all with you. You don't want to pray at home, I'm going to push you to pray in church or shut up. Because we are living in perilous times. We already got church folk think they Superman. Superwoman. Amen. If because, amen, folk, you got church folk think they can't get it again. Come on, somebody. Drop their guards and think they can't get it again. Yes, you can. And you got to walk in the wisdom of God. You got to pray. Come on, somebody. You got to pray. If it's you trying to knock on my door, God, you can do the same thing you did last time. It's bring me out. We just in the confession. I'm teaching this prayer. For where two or three are gathered, two or three are gathered. I believe it'd be more than three. Prayer come, you got all this distraction. And don't realize the devil's job is to distract you out of your miracle. You may not need one now, but you'll need one later. You and the devil come to distract you up out of your, your wisdom. One nugget that will turn your life up and down. But we get complacent. With prayer. That's right. We're going to get excited. I need about five more to get excited. Everybody's excitement is not the same. But it's touching and agree. Somebody shout with prayer go for. Got more than five. I want to do this. I want, I want to see you labor in prayer. That's what I'm at now. I want to see you labor in prayer. You can get the Holy Ghost in prayer. Because if there's any other distraction while prayer going forth, God said, I'm going to get you.
Everybody want a great ministry, but nobody don't want a birth pride. First confession. That's why so much fear in folk because they don't confess the word. He has not given us the spirit of fear. I'm about to lose my mind here. Two or three. Two or three. That's gathered. In who name? No, you want to come in your name. That's how you want to talk with powerful pride going for. We ain't going to have no spiritual racism. If we GBFM, we are all the way GBFM. Right. In the Holy Ghost and everything. Powerful prayer going forth. Amen. You don't come to church and try to feel like, what, what, I, what, 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 what else I got to do? Prayer going on. The devil is a lot, not me another day. God, God, God. That's a distraction. And God put it in my head. That's my spirit. Because when I come out here, I can feel the prayer. And when I get up here, I'm like, wait a minute, this atmosphere ought to be a happier than that. Prayer up here. I said, okay, God, well, we'll take you on over. Then God said, I'll take him on over for the people's sake. He said, well, I want you to slow it down now. I want you to slow it down. I want you to slow it down. But we are teaching on sociological warfare. You can't whoop it. You can't keep your head above the water if you ain't praying. The enemy hit the ministry. It ought to be the body. Amen. The righteous one. Not the not, 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 not praying. So what God is saying, he said, I want out there to come up, to come up to what's been pushed out from up here. See, I got the microphone. All eyes on me. You'll praise them, you hallelujah. It doesn't matter who up here with this mic pray. That's what God is looking for. You come looking for God. You come looking for the things of God. You come looking to lock into the spirit of God. Y'all ain't saying that because that's your brother, that's your sister. Amen. Come on, somebody. Your brother and sister could flow like that. Pastor flow like that. Amen. Come on, somebody. You, your spirit ought to be alive and flow just like that. Amen. I feel the Holy Ghost. That's why a lot of ministry, amen, don't borrow time because they, the folks that taught them to be hooked on one person. Y'all hear what I'm saying? If Jesus could have did it by himself, he couldn't have died, got back up, and continued the journey over again. So he said, hey, come here, y'all twelve. Come here. Gave opportunity to more disciples, but they couldn't catch the concept. So whoever up here praying, scripture preaching, or whatever, from this day forth, don't you disrespect the spirit of God. Amen. 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 I've been here long enough. I'm talking Bible. Two or three. Gather together.
come here, but it ain't no gallon. Yeah. In the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Gathering. In social talking. And God is pushing through, Pastor, through, Minister Venus, through, Minister David, through, Benjamin Carter. Push it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Push it. Somebody say push it. Push it. He said, and you sit out like a knock on the law, like God ain't saying nothing. Then you want to know why the fight is great. You fight against this word, you fight against prayer, you're going to have a fight in your house. When a man sow, he shall also reap if God don't grace. We're going to pray. We're going to preach. We're going to have a word. You have a prayer life. It will bring maturity. You'll know how to testify, what not to testify. Spirit of God be upon you to testify. Then you talk too long till you get out the spirit. All of that birth through prayer. When the spirit, when the anointing lift, you come out of the prayer. You don't know when the anointing lift. I'm going to teach this stuff, y'all. Yes, yes, yes. And I ain't with the Bible class and all that. Well, what do you call that? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go to no seminary. You ain't got common sense. God will put it in you. Just give yourself away. I know how to outline, I know how to intro, outro, intro, I know how to do all that. Jesus didn't have no grand intro. Amen. He fasted and prayed. He fasted and prayed. You want some of these spirits to leave you alone. Stop fasting. Don't wait for the body to go fast. You know it. Come on. It ought to be a part of your spiritual diet. Amen. 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 You don't know how to go on a regular diet, go on a spiritual diet. Amen. 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 I will come to kill, steal, and destroy. And you, you, listen, listen. If you die and go to hell and be asleep in this ministry, it ain't because it ain't being taught. But I'm going to teach you how to come together when God is on display. It doesn't matter who. It doesn't matter who got the microphone. Won't y'all get quiet now? Get down in your spirit. It's not about us. It's about him. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The body is fitting and joined. Yes, amen. Can I yes, amen. We could be round the house and round. We can feel certain one praying for us. Yes, amen, amen. Some sin a word. Call them checking on your apostle. Send a word what God is saying. Send a word, you know, Pastor, what God is saying. Send a word. That's what we ought to have. Come on, somebody. We ought to have some, somebody on the wall. Amen. Saying what God is showing them. So when you got that type of caliber working, amen, in the spirit realm, in this ministry, and when they come over the pulpit, amen, over this podium, amen, don't be embraced. The devil is a lie. The devil, if you can embrace the anointing on my life, amen, you will embrace the anointing on your sister and your brother's life because it's all coming out of the laws. Come on, somebody. The anointing flow down. 
And it runs on everyone that want to reach out and say, God, I want to do what you have called me to be. Yeah, right. Thanks to God. Thanks to God. Nobody in here going to be rejected or, re or despised. Or I give a big microphone let the baby preach every Sunday and test your spirit. You're going to sit there and listen. Come on, somebody. A child will teach yourself. Amen. That's the problem. Grown folks don't realize. A child will teach yourself. Our children will teach yourself. Them, oh, you can't tell me that. When you get that attitude, nobody can't tell you that. That's when you just got to be the fool. When you think you wise in your own eyes, that's when you're a fool. The Bible talks it. Amen. But we're going to push pride. Amen. I'm going to teach it too. But the enemy don't want believers to pray together. Ism and schism, I have this and that, this and that, this and that, this and that, because there's no prayer. Because if you pray, love will come up in your heart. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Prayer will teach you how to, 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 to renew her. Amen. 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 We're going to confess this word. Amen. 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 Everybody repeat after me. We decree according to her back. We decree according to her back. Two and two. Two and two. That we, that we write the vision. And make it plain upon the table that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak if you speak. You don't stop speaking. You want your vision to speak, but you don't stop speaking. You don't stop praying. I want some, I want a band of believer go speak no thing, be not doing work. Amen. Come in agreement. What you say, when we go on apostle, when we go on pastor, that's where I'm going. And I'm going to declare, I'm going to create. Y'all hear what I'm saying? For the vision is yet for a point in time. But at the end, it shall speak and not lie. So if you don't get it, it ain't because God lied. It's because you stopped confessing. You don't let fear, you don't let some master get in your spirit. And so now, you don't, you, you try to hold on to what God said, but in reality, you ain't got what it takes to hold on to what God said. Got a wondering spirit, you ain't holding on to no, no nothing of what God said. Your spirit unstable, you ain't holding on to nothing. You are double minded. I'm stable in all your ways. But how many of you want vision to be? How many want you, but you don't petition God for to be birthed? Y'all be saying that. You birth what God said. I want you to birth in here. God will turn your own vision upside down. Y'all ain't caught the revelation yet. If you meet the needs of God, Oh, I'm, I'm going to get y'all kingdom minded in a minute. I'm going to get your kingdom minded. See, you want to run after your agenda, but leave God's agenda second. But if you take care of God's agenda, I, I may not have money, but I got a voice, and I'm going to release my faith. I'm going to take the word of God, and if we're going to pray the devil of God, he kind of going to shock him in my shot. I feel like trying to die. Sister Angel, wait from Brayton. Come on, somebody. And be right on in here. Come on, somebody. 
for way for bread. Come on, somebody, and be right on in here. Come on, that's somebody that's hungry. Come on, she don't come just to sing a song. No, she don't. She come because God drove her here. She want to grow. She want God to be what he want to be in her life. Amen. But in the mix of it, God going to stamp the gift in the worship. He going to stamp the gift in the prayer. And nobody mad but the devil. If you want it good, you got to get your good mind right. Somebody shout blue. We get rid of this distraction. Don't even say anything. Don't you call me without a purpose. You better be a detrimental problem. Y'all hear what I'm saying? I'm serious about this thing. Y'all ain't saying nothing. I didn't stop preaching when they gave me the gave me the note about my daddy died. Y'all ain't saying nothing. I'm serious about this thing. You better get serious about this thing. You ain't calling me up out of the spirit. The devil is a lie. I've been going through too much hell and too much warfare. I got some stuff on the table and I'm trying to get it off the table because I got some enemies out there and he's out to prepare a table in the presence of my enemy. But you trying to get me out of the God don't promise you stuff. There's so much stuff on the line. And you let the devil distract you. No, he ain't saying that. You ain't putting no skates on my foot. I come to blow my spirit to get settled. Whatever God is saying, I don't want to miss what God is saying. I'm not even saying that. Because what you miss, that's what the devil will capitalize on. That devil will capitalize off of what you have missed. And the very thing that God has prayed. Hey man, God to have somebody praying it in prayer. Hey Amen. But you done missed it because you ain't ready to come in. Or you sit down. You ain't ready to tap in until the pastor show up. The devil is a lie. I ain't nothing about God. Y'all ain't saying nothing. You better come looking for Jesus. You better come coming in the Greek with your brother and sister. You gonna take it off of me. Y'all ain't saying nothing. I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the Holy Ghost. It's time to pray. It's time to come together. It's time to come in the wind. It's time to go out. The Lord has told me. He said, I elevated the ministry in prayer. He said, but the ministry backslid. Y'all remember when the Lord spoke? He said, I elevated this ministry in prayer. But you don't like it. I'm talking about coming together. Don't leave nobody to my name. I ain't say that. I say in the green
I don't understand. You, you, yet you do. You, yet you do. Yet you do. I mean, heard that movie left behind. Some of you gonna get left behind if you don't catch this train right here going on today. Yeah. Amen. 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 It's time to pray. Amen. 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 It's time to pray in your house. Amen. It's time to teach your children how to pray. Y'all yes, hear what I'm saying? Pray. Now hear what I'm saying. The world teaching them everything, yeah, but we too lazy to teach them how to pray. Throw them a scripture out. Amen, somebody. Throw them a scripture out. Don't be so fast to give up on them because somebody pick them up when you don't gave them up. Amen. God gave Abraham a, a revelated word. I, I'm going to jump up out of here. It is a, uh, he got to do it. You still got it? You got it at home, right? I recorded it. I put it somewhere. Yeah. I, oh, it's, no, it's, for, it's a revelated word. I know what I, 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 I want the preach, but God said, hey, yo. <laughs> it's for him to say. Yeah. I'm going to jump up out of my chair. I, 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 I can't even know. I'm like, whoa, good Lord. That thing bless me, it's still blessing me. You don't know what's in your church, and if you don't pull it up out of challenge it. No, you won't eat no hot dogs until you do. Amen. This is my future church. If our church look like this. Could you imagine where the world going to end up? If I, if I, turn, if I, if this world look like the bridge is hanging down, the little girl looking like they 14 and 15 years old, y'all ain't saying nothing. Don't get mad with me. I don't care. I'm going to talk your way. We got to teach them to be modest appearance. You don't put nothing up upon them before time. Yes, you develop in the spirit. You yes, can't have yes. a Feel the Holy Ghost. Oh, oh, I talk Bible. Y'all yes, yes, yes. ain't saying nothing. Y'all yes, ain't saying nothing. Good call of mine. Y'all ain't saying that. Amen. We talking about mine. Yes, that's right. Jamal, his mama put an earring in his ear when he was a little baby. I said, it's coming out. Okay. I don't play that. It's coming out. Okay. I didn't only say that. I went in the spirit realm. I went to take an authority. And that baby came. I took it out myself. And it ain't don't play back here. Y'all ain't talking to me up in here. I'm talking Bible. We can push on our youth before they even be developed. And that spirit will develop in their spirit, in their mind. You don't put no makeup on no child, no little girl before. Y'all ain't talking to me up in here. They ain't mature yet. You, you, they all, you ought to teach them that they beauty and on the inside. He already pretty. It's a wonderful and beautiful in me. And so when that attitude want to bust back at you, don't you get back because you put a grown spirit on Y'all don't like this today. Y'all don't like this today. Y'all don't like this today. I tell all of my boys, y'all pull your britches up. I don't care how old you are, pull your britches up. Y'all ain't talking to me up in here. It's a bit to hold that tail. Y'all ain't talking to me up in here. You don't have no standard. That generational curve will run them down. Run your children down. Run your grandchildren down. Run your great-grandchildren down. But I want the word of God. 